Korean Quilt. Hi, ho, everybody. Welcome, welcome to Korean Quilt. I'm Richard. And I'm Anna. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, okay, welcome. So here's the situation. You're at a party or some social function, and it's pretty much, well, a bust. So you want to leave, and you're thinking to yourself, now how can I extricate myself from this mess without looking horribly rude? Korean Quilt to the rescue. Oh, Korean Quilt man. Yes, woman, hear me roar. You're in trouble and need to leave. That's what the K on my chest is painted <laughs> there for. I'm going to take off now. 먼저 갈게요. Oh, perfect. 먼저 갈게요. Now, we should point out something here. This expression is very cultural because the exact meaning is, I'll go first. So you assume there are other people present. Like we've seen so many other times on Korean quilts, sometimes we have to translate words and phrases a little differently than they're in the dictionary. And this is just such a case. And we should also mention, Richard, that you don't have to be leaving a bad party or situation to use this expression. No, we only said that to offer you an example. Now, right now, for instance, Anna and I are here, and I could say here to Anna, I'm going to leave now, Anna. 먼저 갈게요. The inference here is that I'm leaving while Anna is staying. Or the other way around. Richard, I'm going to take off now, okay? 먼저 갈게요. Right, now one more character we can throw in there is the subject, namely... I, which is 저. Okay, so making the sentence, 저 먼저 갈게요. I'm and, taking off now. Exactly. And in response, I'd say, 먼저 가세요. Mm -hmm. Let's try that again, Anna. I'm going to leave now. Take care. 저 먼저 갈게요. Okay, 먼저 가세요. Bye, Richard. And we have to say goodbye, too. Yes, we do. Thanks for joining us. But we'll be back tomorrow with more on Korean quilts. See you then.